So apparently Dark Matter 2525 has a relative who's Christian, and the interesting thing about this guy is that he says pretty much everything I've been saying about God since I've been on YouTube, but he comes to the exact opposite conclusions that I do. Let me show you what I mean. Christians say that on one hand, everything that exists requires a beginning, and then on the other hand, they maintain that God is eternal, with no beginning and no beginning cause. So what's the deal? Well, not all Christians say that. William Lane Craig doesn't say that all things necessarily have a beginning. Just that physics, or at least his understanding of it, says that the universe has a beginning and therefore has a creator, and that creator is God. He does, however, still believe in the paradoxical notion that God created time. We exist within this realm of space and time, but God does not. How can I be so sure? Well, think about it. How could God's existence be time and space based if he created time and space? Or to say it another way, how could God have a beginning within time if he created time? So the question of God's beginning turns out to have a fundamental flaw in its logic. It turns out to be a meaningless sort of paradox. Exactly. But I would say this not only makes the question of God's beginning meaningless, it makes the very notion of God itself meaningless. Because it is meaningless and paradoxical, the statement, God exists, is meaningless and paradoxical. It is for that reason that I am an atheist, and that I am a stronger atheist than Richard Dawkins or Bionic Dance or any other atheist that says, well, it's possible that God exists, there's just no evidence for it. Since God is a meaningless concept, to say it's possible that God exists is an entirely vapid statement. It cannot be true because meaningless statements cannot have a truth value. I'm not an atheist just because there's no evidence for God. I'm an atheist because in order to even begin to look for evidence, you have to have a coherent notion of whatever it is that you're looking for evidence for. So where did God come from then? How does he exist if not within space and time? How does he exist if he didn't have a beginning? Well, I don't know. You don't know because when you take away time and space, you are taking away the prerequisites of existence itself. To say that God or anything else exists non-temporally or non-spatially is a contradiction. It is a self-refuting statement. I think the true nature of God's being is simply beyond human comprehension. As a person who's been skeptical about the existence of God in the past, I now actually take a certain comfort in the fact that these types of questions about God are unanswerable. So you were skeptical about the idea of God, but then once you realized that the idea is entirely incomprehensible, you felt better about it? You found it easier to believe? Do you even realize what you're saying? How can you believe in something when you don't even understand what it is you're believing in? How do you expect to get people to believe that God exists when you openly admit that when you say God exists, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about? I see this as evidence that God has not been made by us in our own image after all. If God were a human invention, then we should be able to explain everything about him. You say that as if people don't come up with nonsensical bullshit all the time. Is this your first day on the internet?